Let's talk about the weather. Fortunately, no lightning in the forecast for tonight. We will see some showers and thunderstorms eventually make their way back into the area by Sunday, I'm thinking. But in the meantime, we've actually got some pretty quiet weather. You may be able to hear my neighbor way back in the back, somebody in the neighborhood already mowing their lawn right now, taking advantage of this kind of cooler and drier weather we've had today. Highs today for most have been in the 70s, and we're still sitting in the 70s at this hour. Now, a relative humidity, that's what's been lower, and that's why it doesn't feel as hot and humid and just straight up tropical like it did earlier in the week. Because that moisture has now dried out, we're not feeling as oppressive with the heat and humidity as we were earlier in the work week. Again, this is pretty refreshing as we wrap up the work week. Our dual pole radar at the moment, again, not picking up much. We've seen a few high clouds and some puffy cumulus clouds from time to time, but fair weather clouds, if you will. We're not going to see any rain tonight. And most of tomorrow, I'm thinking, is looking dry, too. So if you need to get the hard work done, if you got to mow this evening like whoever it is behind me is doing, or if you need to do so tomorrow, you're looking good. But Sunday, that's when things start to get a little messy again. We're going to see some showers and storms come back. And here's why. We've got this cold front that's dropping down from the northwest. Now, it's a weak boundary, but it is going to be crossing our area into tomorrow. And while it's in the vicinity, we've also got low pressure along the Carolina coastlines, too. Both of them together are going to keep enough moisture and energy around that we will see those showers and storms. So let's take a closer look at future cast. Again, tonight, not expecting anything, mainly clear, kind of cool again tonight. Most of us again dropping into the 50s. Tomorrow, a lot like today, highs in the 70s, partly cloudy, but we're going to be a little bit more muggy during the afternoon and we could see a stray shower somewhere. Still, most of us tomorrow stay dry. It's Sunday. Let me back that up a little bit. It's Sunday afternoon in particular that we're going to see rounds of showers and thunderstorms as this boundary moves into our area. The heaviest stuff looking to be along and east of Interstate 77. Now, the good news is we're not really looking at a severe weather chance because we're going to be cooler than average, and that should actually help the severe threats stay low or pretty much zero. But heavy rain is going to be a concern. If we get training of storms, they hover over certain areas for a while, we could see some localized flooding issues. So that's something we're watching into the beginning of next week. Again, to recap tonight, though, temperatures for most in the 50s tomorrow, back in the 70s. Again, a mixture of sun and clouds for Saturday. Just a slim chance of a stray shower tomorrow, but again, looking pretty nice tomorrow. Cool, unsettled as we head into early next week, upper 60s and low 70s. At least we do get a break from the heat. We may be able to turn the ACs down at least a little bit in the coming days. Hey, stay with us. We'll be right back. Right. After